In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how you can set up a free business phone number using Google Voice. I'm also gonna talk about the pros and cons with using this phone service. And then at the very end, I'm gonna share some tips and tricks that people who are using Google Voice right now don't even know about. And so if all of this sounds good to you, make sure to lock in and be ready to watch this video until the very end. Now, let's talk about why having a business phone number is very important for your business. Having a separate business phone number instantly makes you look more professional. It also helps you keep your personal and your business calls separate. So you're not answering client calls at the dinner table. Another reason why you'd want a business phone number is that you can offer better customer service. With a dedicated business line, you can make sure customer questions go straight to your business phone, making it easier to manage and respond to customer calls. Which brings me to the pros or benefits of using Google Voice. First, with Google Voice, you get a free local number. This means that customers immediately think you're one of them or a part of their community. And so customers being able to recognize your business because of your area code is a huge perk that oftentimes goes overlooked. Another benefit of using Google Voice as your business number is that it's completely free for US domestic calls. And so if you want to make a call from California to Texas, you can easily do so without an additional charge. The next benefit is that you can manage your calls on multiple devices. And so whether you're on a phone, tablet, or computer, you can handle business calls wherever you are. Also, if you have business partners, they can access the calls as well, as Google Voice allows you to add multiple people to the forwarding list. Then there's voicemail transcriptions, and this one is a game changer, as Google Voice transcribes your voicemails into text and sends it directly to your email inbox. Talk about amazing, and it saves you so much time. As you see, there are a ton of benefits when it comes to using Google Voice. One more benefit that I want to mention is that with Google Voice, you can treat it as your primary or secondary business phone number. And so the number that you use for business bank accounts or on Dun & Bradstreet doesn't have to be the same number that you use for potential clients or customers that you might come in contact with. And so it's nice to have a backup business phone number. And so as great as Google Voice is, there are still some cons as it's not perfect. The first downside or con when it comes to Google Voice is that they don't give out toll-free numbers. And so if you wanted to be able to use Google Voice to get a 1-800 or 1-888 phone number, you would not be able to get that phone number with Google Voice. The second con of using Google Voice is that their international calls are limited. And so if you wanted to make calls with team members that lived in other countries, the cost would start to add up if you plan on using Google Voice. And there are other phone options that would be better if you did a lot of international calls in your business. Another con about Google Voice is that it is internet based. It's known as a VOIP phone service, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. And so if you don't have a good Wi-Fi connection or mobile data available, your calls could drop or have lower sound quality. And for important business meetings, you don't want this to happen. And so you wanna make sure you have really good Wi-Fi when taking these calls. And so even with the cons that I just mentioned, having Google Voice as a backup business phone number has been a game changer for me as it gives my business an added layer of protection. To give you an example, I sign up for different trainings and webinars. They oftentimes ask for my business phone number. I don't wanna give them my business phone number where I could get calls from clients, but I would give them my secondary business phone number. And so I have my main business line for clients, and then I have my secondary phone number for webinars and trainings. Now let's hop over to Google Voice so I can give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough. The first step, you want to make sure that you're signed in to an existing Gmail account. If you don't currently have a Gmail account, you will need to create one. But the great thing is that it is free to create. And so once you create a free Gmail account, you're going to then head over to Google. You're going to type in Google Voice. You're then going to click the first link that is available and the website will be voice.google.com. So you're going to click this link and it'll take you to this page. And so it'll let you choose whether you want to use it for personal use or for business use. 
Although you and I know we're using this for business, we're gonna tell Google this is for personal use as most business owners can get everything they need with a personal account. And if you want to learn more about Google Voice, you can scroll further down the page and see all the different features that are available. And so we're gonna click web for now, but we're later gonna set up iOS or Android depending on the type of phone that we have. And so since I'm already logged into my Gmail account, it's gonna take me to this page. If you aren't, it's gonna ask you to create an account. So we're gonna hit continue. And so then it's gonna ask us to enter in a city or area code. You wanna go with the city that you're doing most of your business in. And so if you're planning on doing your business in Dallas, you might go with the 214 number. Right now, since I'm living in DC, I'll go with Washington, DC. And so unfortunately, it looks like there's no Google Voice numbers that are available in Washington, DC. You might see the same error when you go to search. It's completely fine as you can choose a city or state that's nearby as a phone number to go with. And so now I'm gonna click on Dulles, Virginia, since that's close to DC. And so it looks like we have some numbers that are available. If we don't like any of the numbers that are seen on the screen, we can click show more. I actually really like this number right here, 571-445-4850. It has some numbers that repeat, which makes it easier for customers to remember. So I'm gonna select this one. Now it's gonna ask me to verify my phone number in order to complete the Google Voice setup. And so I will need to enter in a cell phone number in order to get this set up. And so once you enter in a valid number, then you're gonna click send code. I currently right now have all of my phone numbers connected to Google Voice. And so as you can see, I'm a pretty big fan of Google Voice. Once you confirm that code, it's then going to take you to this page. You can access your call to the left and call people on the right side. And then if you want to see your messages, they're also going to be available here. And then you can also see your voicemails. And so you want to go over to the settings page. It's going to have your number top and center of the page. And then if you scroll down, it's going to have the devices connected to this number, which means that if somebody were to call your Google Voice number, you'd be able to answer it either through the web or through a device. And so to add a new number, you would click new linked number, and then you would enter in your number here, and then you would select send code. They would need to then verify that number. Once they do so, it will then be added. And so now you've officially set up your Google Voice number to receive calls on web and on your phone. If you have any other business partners, you can add them to receive the calls as well. If you wanna move an existing number because you've had it so long over to Google Voice, then you can click here and port your number. I personally created a new phone number for all of my Google Voice accounts. And then scrolling down, we have messages. And so we can decide to forward the different messages that we receive to our email. And then we have the call section. And so what most people don't know, you can make outgoing calls to clients from your computer. Now that you have everything set up, it's now time to share with you some tips and tricks so that when customers call your business number it's gonna sound very professional the first thing you want to do is set up a voicemail greeting and so you're gonna scroll down to the voicemail section and then click record a greeting this is then gonna allow you to record a professional greeting you'll see on your screen right here this is a really good greeting that sounds professional and lets people know that you'll get back to them congratulations for setting that up now there's just one more thing that I need you to do and so a customer is gonna immediately know it's Google voice which doesn't look as good but because you've liked and subscribed to my channel, I got you. And so what you need to do is turn off screen calls. And so you're gonna find screen calls in the call section. And so you're gonna uncheck this button. And so by unchecking this button, Google Voice will no longer ask the customer to say their name. And so it'll go straight to your phone or voicemail. You officially now have a very legit business phone number and you got it for free. And so now you know why a business phone number is important, the pros and cons to using Google Voice, and the step-by-step -step directions on how you can set up your own free business phone number with Google Voice. And now it's time to check out this video right here, as it's going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up an LLC.